Greetings and welcome to my next Gwent deck video. So this is a deck that I haven't like even considered trying for the longest time uh, just because I feel like I wasn't good enough to play it because like it seemed like I've seen gameplay of this deck but I've never like actually tried um, like tried working with this deck before. So I thought finally for the first time I decided to give it a shot. So this is the Lippy deck. Uh, I, I saw like a lot of variations of this deck. Um, I saw Shinmiri's like um, what do you call it? the Radea and um, Shoop version of it, which actually looks pretty strong and interesting. So I might give that one a shot. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try out this version for the time being. It does use Ursine Ritual. Um, there's like a lot of Lippy decks that use like different versions. Like, there's some that use like Skellige, uh Second Wind uh, that I've seen, which is which also look pretty good. So I might give those variations a shot and maybe uh, adjust them as I go. Um, the two games I'm going to be showing to you have two different deck lists, um, but this one is like the better one, and this one was featured in the second game. Uh, the first game features the Jutta and Restore combo, which honestly I think is a very strong combo, but the thing is it's just a bit too slow. Um, considering that Skellige is already a very slow deck, I feel like that combo would just make it a tad bit slower. Uh, so I decided just to go with this version, so I'm going to go through the list as to what I have. Obviously Lippy is the core player of today's deck. Um, the Crow Mother and Roach are pretty good uh, cards to bring out onto the field for conditional purposes, which is pretty nice. That extra power is actually pretty strong. Uh, Royal Decrease always there if we're missing any pieces. Veiled Carl is sort of the powerhouse of this deck, so we kind of combine this with three pings from the Earth Sign Ritual, and we do manage to get our Champion of Svalbard out and running. Now, of course, you know, like this could get hit with a Yennefer's Invo or whatever, but if that's not the case, then you should be fine. Um, Herald Hound Snout, again, we have cards that sort of support self damage in a sense, like the Armored Jakar. Um, so yeah, so we have uh, Harold Houndsnout. Houndsnout, yes, that's the name. I thought it was Snort. <laughs> uh, we got Morkvark for that discard. Now, I tried the first game, I actually had the um, Twisia Skirmishers, but I realized they don't work because this, this is specifically saying that it has to be discarded from the hand for it to work. Uh, so it does not work, so I took it out. I never used it in the first game, but it's like I just realized. So, well, I played another game where I tried it and it didn't work, so it's like I was like, what the heck, why didn't it work? So I took him out and then. Yeah, I tried him in a different game. Um, next, we got Sigdrifus Wright. Sigdrifus Wright is good for taking out that champion as Valbud for a very strong short round three, if we get that far. Uh, Ermion is good for getting out any of our alchemy cards that are still in the deck, not to mention it does trigger Crow Mother from the grave, which is pretty good. Um, what else we got here? Raiding Fleet. Yeah, I decided to add Raiding Fleet just because we were running quite the number of long ships. Well, quite the number of ships. Well, only three, but it's like, you know. Chances of all three coming out aren't in your hand. You don't necessarily want that, so you want to keep one for the raiding fleet. Uh, if you find that if you're trying to play this on pro rank, Grammys will be very useful. You're going to see quite a lot of statuses that were going to happen. Poison, lock, you name it. So Grammys is good for sort of nullifying those. Giga Scorpion Decoction if you need to take out any powerful engines. Uh, Freya's Blessing for resing any gold bronze cards that we would need for the third round, like if we need a longship or if we need Armored Jakar for some extra pings perhaps, um, which is not so bad. Um, next is, I added, I put in one Tertia Veteran, but I honestly think that you can just put in an extra Armored Jakar in its place. Uh, I just find that the Armored Jakar is a very sought after target, um, so I tried not to put two copies in because I feel like they're just going to keep getting countered. At least with the Tertia Veteran, I can at least combo it with this Valvod Priest, hit it for one, t ping it for two more, and use the other three for Ermion because this thing's going to go back up to eight anyway, so that's not so bad. But this one doesn't have armor. Oh, uh, this one does have armor, so we can um, deny that extra one damage going to us. So maybe I'll make that change. So that's, this is probably the final deck. Oh, wait. What did I just take off? Oh, there we go. I didn't take off anything. Uh, so yeah, and to sort of finish it all off, we have the one Gutting Slash, two Stunning Blows, and two Savage Bears. Um, honestly, like I saw many different versions of this deck, which I could give a shot, uh, um, give it a shot to see how well it would work. Um, the idea is like I like being able to bleed out my opponent in round two for a short round three because if we do end up playing Lippy, it brings out the Roach and it brings out Morkvard, so that's easily an 11. 12, a 12 point play with just Lippy himself and then um, you want to make sure though that you have all the cards you need to rest like you want to make sure that the champion of um, Svalblood is uh, brought back from the grave before you play Lippy um, otherwise if you have Royal Decree then you might you can get it out with the Royal Decree as well um, but yeah uh, the reason why I actually tried to play with Jutta first like before anything is because I could have just Royal Decreed the champion of Svalblood while I could have played Sigjivas right on the Jutta 
Um, maybe I could still do that, but without the restore, I will probably try the restore Jutta combo. I'm um, in a different deck, probably not this one. I might try it in a more um, high speed, high tempo deck, probably a beast um, artifact uh, Skellige deck. I might try it with that, just sort of just for some pretty tall power in case I need a short round three. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna try that on next. But for now, we're gonna be rocking with this deck. Um, so again, the first game will be the deck where I try it with Jutta and Restore, and the second one will be this current deck list, of course, with um, the Tertia Veteran as opposed to the Extra Armor Drakkar. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are of this deck. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll send you guys, and of course, subscribe for more content. Um, I didn't do the outro in the games, uh, so I'm kind of doing it here, so it's like the mid-outro in a sense. Uh, so yeah, let me send you guys over to the gameplay. I haven't tried this deck yet, so it should be it should be interesting. He might have actually the same version, or the same type. Be pretty cool if he did. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, we can get rid of this, we don't need it right now. I don't know if we need Lippy right now. I don't think we need Lippy right now. We still have a card for Ermion to come bring out. We have Restore. Uh, we don't- we have Jutta in hand, so that's pretty nice actually. And we have Crow Mother, so we're actually set pretty well here. Uh, makes me wonder if we even need Lippy. Yeah, no, we don't need Lippy yet. Yeah, Build Card Heal. Build Card Heal is actually pretty good. So, uh, oh, I can't ping this one. Oh, pity. That's okay. Um, we'll start with uh, Crow Mother. We'll get Roach out here too. I've never actually played a Lippy deck before, so this should be interesting. It should be very interesting. I mean, I, I uh, I've seen enough videos where like I kind of get the idea behind how a Lippy deck should run. So, we'll see. Yeah, alright, bud. Bit of a reaction play there. I mean, we are going second, so it's like, we're, it's, we're kind of okay doing that, you know? Um, Next, I feel like I could bring out... Um, I could actually play... Where is he? I could play Jutta next, and then I could actually bring out Ermion to the Restore. And then get just get that major, major boost. That's fine. Um. Oh, we should have actually played our on crit long ship to be honest, but I feel like it's too late now. It's gonna get destroyed. That's okay. I will actually play Jutta here. In a sense, it's like, I kind of just, well, I wouldn't say I threw this deck together, but it's like, I don't know, I was trying to explore with like different versions of Jutta. Oh, sorry, not Jutta. Of, um, oh, wow, wait, he's just helping me there. He actually helped me there. All right, I'll, I'll take it, actually. I'll take this. I'll uh, bring out Ermion. And then we'll actually play, um, Restore, and then Jutta. All right, well, let's see how he beats this. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to beat this. I mean, unless he plays Mork Varg. But he, he plays Mork Varg, it's fine, I suppose. I mean, it'll only go down to 11 as opposed to 23. Restore is literally just a cheaper and, like, better... Cheaper version of, um... Of uh, the Dark Mirror. Because it does exactly the same thing. Only the Dark Mirror boosts straight from where it was damaged. Whereas Restore heals first and then... All right, bud. I kind of want to try and, like, you know, I wouldn't say go all out, but it's like, yeah. Morkvarg, we don't need him right now. All right, now we actually do kind of need Lippy here. So we- oh, it's gonna be tough. Drawing Lippy is tough. You draw three, and then you have like two chances to discard. That's crazy. Oh, that's fine. That's alright. I mean, we do have Build Carl, which we've yet to use actually. So we, we still have like some setting up to do, right? So we still have plenty of things to do around here. 
But in all honesty, we could really just use this in the third round and then just have Sigdrifa bring back um, Jutta. So it's not... it's fine. Wow, he's playing a lot of damage cards. Actually, that's good for us in a way. Uh, let's see. I, he sh I mean, he might have another stunning blow. So we'll see. He's played one stunning blow. Oh no, he hasn't played any stunning blow. There it is. Yeah, he's playing all of his damaging cards. Actually, I like this. This actually does us pretty well. Uh, we're gonna actually go ahead and trigger Vildkarl. Is it Berserk 2? Alright. Alright, we'll, we'll see how he counters this. I mean, in all honesty, if I wanted to, I could actually bring back... Um, <laughs> there's his Oncrate Longship. Um, I could decoction. Yeah, I'll decoction actually. Why not? And Crow Mother comes back too, which is pretty crazy. Honestly, I think I can beat him. Keyword, I think. <laughs> not quite sure, but... Oh, he's ro you're rocking a phoenix. Alright, I see you. So he's trying to catch up here. Um, we could Freya's Blessing, the Oncrate Longship, so we do have that option as well. He's kind of, he's used up like his major damaging cards here, so I don't think he, there should be a way for him to sort of eliminate the Svalbard Priest. Yeah, actually we'll go, we'll go ahead and play the Svalbard Priest, to be honest. We'll, we'll, we'll see though, but... I don't know. It's not looking good. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. Uh, we could Freya's Blessing the um, Armored Drakkar here. I mean, he's, he's literally playing reactive, so I'm literally making him pay for it. Like, he literally brought out all of his damaging cards here. Like, he had a Delirium. Sorry, he had a Decoction. He had two two Gutting Slashes and a Stunning Blow. So, a Skial. That's fine. I mean, I'm feeling kind of confident at this point. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point, so I think we should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay, oh, we're taking on Square Tell this time. Alright, this should be fun. Um, so we go first, we'll get rid of this. Crow Mother could be, is actually a pretty good first play here. Oh no, we're not. I'm I'm honest, I'm not gonna lie, I actually get tired of seeing the two reses come out way too often. Especially in round one. And especially if your opponent doesn't like try to damage you, right? I don't have my raiding fleet, which is fine, so. We're good with the Crow Mother first turn here. A Squiretail Neophyte? Okay. Is this the, um. This could potentially be the, um. Man, what do you call this? I mean, is it Harmony? I don't know. Harmony doesn't usually run the Neophyte, does it? It also makes no sense to play the Raiding Fleet, so we'll actually just Savage Bear here. Actually, maybe we'll play Armored Drakkar. Skel uh, Squirtle isn't known for, like, very high damage tempo cards, so... But, I mean, I'm kind of super vulnerable to an Igni right now if he does have it, so that's something I gotta be careful of as well. Ooh, Mata already? Oh, that's early. Okay, so... I guess we will... Actually, we'll Raiding Fleet here. Perfect. You're exactly who I wanted. Now, unfortunately, if an Igni exists, we're screwed. <laughs> Big time. Well, not really. I mean, we're, we're... I mean, if he does play, you just want Igni. We're still okay, but... This is this is we're actually really bad here for Igni, so what can you do, right? It is what it is. Uh, I think we gotta play Svalbard Priest now. 
Yeah, he's not very committed to this round. For me, I kind of have to be committed, especially with the kind of deck that this is, so... Alright. Sure. Interesting deck. It's a very interesting deck, to be honest. I mean, I don't know what to make of it, but it's alright. Nature's Rebuke. There it is. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's fine, actually. It's not a big deal. We can just Savage Bear, right? Nope, that's not Savage Bear. Although, we could play Herald. We'll give him two bleeds here, which is pretty nice. Mahaka Marauder. We could kill it. No, we can't kill it because it, it gets healed immediately after. That's alright. Uh, I think we might still continue with the Herald play. I mean, I could... Actually, yeah, no. We'll continue. The, we'll play Herald here. And then we actually end up playing... Um, What's his name? We actually do end up playing uh, Vild Carl uh, next. And then we'll actually hit it. We'll actually damage it. And then, yeah, it should be fine. And then that should get him to pass. If all goes well. If all goes well, he should pass from that. Oh, then never mind. I mean, we could still go off, but I'd have to use more charges this time. I was hoping to avoid those charges, but it's all right. So we'll actually still go ahead and go with that play. I mean, I'm ahead by 20, so I, th <laughs> I think he will pass. I mean, Scorch is a commitment. That's a big card. And I'm happy that he played it before I got my uh, uh, my champion out here, so that's pretty nice. This time I do have Gremis in the off chance he, he does try to um, poison us, so we're so we should be fine. Oh, he's still going. Okay. I mean, I don't know how is he gonna beat this with two cards or with one card now? Like, cause this is kind of a this is a very tempting pass to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see him beat up. I mean, but the problem is, if I if he forces to a long third... Actually, no, we have all these for the third round, which is actually not so bad, I guess. Yeah, he's dead. What kind of a hand is this? Wait, is this a shoop deck? This could be a shoop deck. I mean, he has to try and beat seven. I mean, if he has a great oak, it will beat seven, but... Is he really going to go ahead and play his Broccoli on Sentinels? Okay, so beating 5 now, so that's not so bad. Okay, so he just goes ahead with that play. Okay, that's fine. I mean... This will tell me, actually, this will tell me a lot. This, the, what, what, how many of them show up. Okay, so this is not a Redea deck. So, I have no idea what kind of deck this is. Um, But the fact that he had to use up his a Scorch and... Uh, his hero power actually does put us in a pretty good position. So we can actually play pretty reactive here if he chooses to play on the second round, so we should be okay. Is there anything I would like in case he doesn't pass? Um, no. I mean, one of the... Okay, now I would like one of the reses. Uh, <laughs> no, not you. Perfect. Will he play or will he pass? Okay, as figured. Um, we could actually just res because we we do have another res ready. We could also royal decree into like I don't know a twist Tertia veteran. I mean, it's kind of a waste, but I mean, I'm also thinking like, what else would I want to uh, bring out? Right? Yeah, just royal decree probably into a I don't know a ver veteran Tertia veteran. No problem. Alright, this will be an interesting third round. I don't know what we're going to expect. I'm not sure if he's going to have, like, poison or anything. So I don't know about Gremis. I mean, I'll still keep him because I like... 
I don't know. Keeping Morkvarg there would be nice. I don't exactly want to draw into it, so... And he has played a Nature's Rebuke, so the fact that this is not a, um... Redea or Shoop deck tells us, tells me that there could be more. Like, there could be, like, one more Nature's Rebuke, which will just absolutely destroy my, um... But actually, I'd rather have it destroy that than destroy my... Actually, the problem is now I don't have anything to bring Svalbard Priest. I mean, we still have Ermion. Do we not? We do. So, actually, we'll start with the um, Uncrate Longship. This, I, I have to see if he has another Re Nature's Rebuke. This will actually tell me quite a bit. But I have to know. We have three dam uh, damaging cards. Gutting Slash should also be a raid card. I don't know why raids, not, but I mean, I'm not like it matters, but okay, here comes, this is probably the Rebuke. It has to be, right? Yeah, that's fine. Now that he's used up all his pings, now I'm actually just gonna go ahead and play the, um... Just go ahead and Freya's Blessing. Oh, shoot, you know what I should have done? I should have just pinged the Crow Mother. Because he no longer has a Scorch, right? Yeah, I should have. I just, I just realized I should have just done that. Yeah, it's alright. Not a big deal. What else could he have? This is such a strange deck. And the fact, and it's because of that that I have no idea what to expect, and that's actually what might end up, you know, costing me the game if anything. I mean, it could run Artifact. Yeah, it could possibly run Artifact. That could be a problem too, actually. Yeah, I kind of mistake. <laughs> I, I definitely misplaced the Armored Drakkar. I definitely should have put him here. The problem is though, if he destroys my Svalblood Priest, I'm kind of in a bind. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, if I were to suggest, what would I suggest us right? My Uncre- No, I would like to see Grifus right my champion, actually. Do I do that now? I mean, there's really no better time to do it now other than now, right? So we'll do that. I think the next two turns, I'm actually okay with just damaging cards. Like, that doesn't do too much, but it should, shouldn't be too bad. That's fine. Alright, that was the second Dolbathana. You put a lot of effort into that. Like a lot of effort into that. Alright. I mean, I'm I'm in a good position, but it's like you never really know what's going to happen in a game like this. So it's like, I can't be too careful. His right head officer. Is he just really, is he putting that much investment into a Svalbard priest? Man, this is wasting us. Literally every time he's dished out damage to me, I've been able to... Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, We could Stunning Blow something. I mean, if I'm going to assume that his finisher is the Great Oak, right? I mean, I still have I still have a finisher. I mean, I still have an Alchemy and the Decoction, so it's like... It's not like Crow Mother doesn't come back, so... Crow Mother will come back. The only question is, is it going to Vernaciel? Okay. I mean, that's my decoction target, so... Now, where does Crow Mother go? Melee row this time? Oh, that's fine. So now he... Now, oh my goodness. I feel like his most powerful cards could be the last three cards here. He also has a lot of 4 and 4s and 5s. Oh, he placed a Great Oak already? Wow, okay. He's that scared of my... <laughs> Alright. And we'll do this. Gives us a pretty comfortable lead. Unfortunately, my cap's at 46. So he needs to be 21 points. Uh, if one of them's Isengrim... I don't think he's able to be 26. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he should be able to be 26 points. 